What's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Noob. I'm pretty much doing a lot of manga reviews, so I decided I was going to take a little break from that and bring out a webcomic instead. There's this app that I don't know if you've heard about. It's called Webtoons. You can find it both on the computer and in the app store. And what I like about it is when you actually watch it on your phone or actually read it on your phone, it actually uh, conforms to your actual phone so you don't have to scroll right to left to actually read it all. So I find it very interesting. And I've actually got a bunch of stories on there that I'm following. And the best part, if I didn't mention it, it's free. You can join free and read hundreds and hundreds of web comics that are on there. Some of them are from professionals. A lot of them are actually from just individuals, people that you would find on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. So I wanted to actually share with you one of my favorite web comics that you can find on there that I enjoy reading and I try to keep up with every day. The web comic that I wanted to bring it to your all's attention is called Boyfriend of the Dead. It is written and drawn by Ushio is the tag that the person uses. I don't know if that's their real name, but hey, it works out for me. Imagine this. It is the ever-feared zombie apocalypse. We all know it's coming. We all know things are going to happen. Imagine you are a female trying to survive in the zombie apocalypse that has happened. You're trying to collect supplies, find places that are safe, and trying to kill as many zombies that you can on your way. Then imagine your surprise when you find a boy that will eventually become your boyfriend. The only downside is he's a zombie. That is the basic premise of this webcomic. When we first start out, we see the female character, Alex. Now she is fighting off zombies and trying to just find a place to find clothes that aren't covered in blood. She is one of those, as I like to call them, the Twitter, the Instagram, the the girls who always like to be dressed up, makeup, look good, trying to get the followers, and this zombie apocalypse is just not doing it for her. Now in the next chapter, we actually meet the boy. Now he doesn't have a name. Unfortunately, when you become a zombie, you tend to lose quite a bit of some of your memories. He eventually gets the name of N, but that's later on in the comic. He isn't like your typical zombie. You actually come to find out that some zombies actually still have brain functions and when he sees other zombies eating humans he kind of gets disgusted and you come to realize that is because while he was growing up he was pretty much a cook he knew what good foods there were what bad foods there were what kind of meats you'd use and seeing zombies just go after humans without any thought process makes him very disgusted it isn't until a chapter or two later where N sees Alex and figures she is perfect. She's alive. She's not too tall, not too short. She's kind of perfect. And he figures that he's going to keep her safe so he can eventually eat her. Alex, on the other hand, when she finds out that she can communicate with him and they can work together, she gets this bright idea that if she has a zombie boyfriend, her likes in her social media thing will go up and she'll become Instagram famous or whichever app they're using in this thing. So in the beginning, these two are pretty much using each other for certain reasons that will benefit them. But as the webcomic goes on, they eventually start to grow feelings for each other. And it is a comedy because it is just hilarious the way this webcomic goes. Alex, later on in the comics, the zombies will do anything to avoid her because she is basically a zombie killing machine. There's even a point in this comic where N gets kidnapped by one of the human settlements because he can talk and they're trying to figure out what's going on and she gets really pissed. And when she goes to rescue him, even the humans know that she is deadly and she goes to rescue him. It is just a hilarious thing. 
Now, the comic isn't just these two characters. They actually grow their own kind of, we'll say, niche family, both mixed of zombies and humans. The zombies in this, like I said, they can't talk, but they actually can think, and they remember some parts of the past, but not completely, and they start to get smart. N uses one of those, like, draw pads that are from a Frozen theme, because he likes to make Frozen jokes with Elsa and all that. Uh, there's this other zombie girl, I think her name is Lily, I believe, and she has a smartphone and she'll text out everything that she wants to say. And there are humans who also come along. There's a doctor, there's an old man, there's this young girl who could have been a love rival for Alex, but really didn't turn out. But it is quite funny because of the situations they get to, and a lot of the meta humor in this is little callbacks to things. There was one chapter where they found like a botanical garden and the zombie researcher that was there who was trying to protect it set up a whole bunch of tennis ball launchers with razor blades in them. But the thing that was funny was he basically put costumes on them making them look like those plants from Plants vs. Zombies. So they were making jokes about that. I actually enjoy this thing because it is quite hilarious. And it always is getting updated three times a week. So almost every other day, I'm getting a new chapter out and I'm reading it. And it doesn't really slow down. It's, you know, they're working together. They're having fun. It's just, it's just hilarious. Oh, and another thing that I find really neat is, like I said, Ed was a cook. So he tends to cook the food for them. He will wear gloves because he doesn't want to get them infected. But... He will cook them food, make them nutritious, and he'll even do special things. There's a couple zombie kids that they basically adopt because they can think and all that, and they're not really bad. So they take them in and, like, they don't want to eat their vegetables. So N works out a way to make, like, a vegetable soup with some funny-shaped bread. It's just a good, good story. There was once a movie, uh, Future Me will put up the poster right there where there was a love romance between a zombie and a human but i think this one has done it better and if this was to actually be made into like a cartoon or an anime i would watch this completely because this is a great story and it's still going on they're still learning about why people are becoming zombies they haven't found a cure yet the question is do they want a cure what's the story behind ends memory because there's some things that you can kind of see that he's blocked out don't know if it's from the zombie or he's purposely blocking out but there's a lot of things that i want to learn and it's just a great story there's even a point in the story where all the non-thinking zombies pretty much have been defeated but all the thinking zombies are still around and they actually kind of continue on with their lives you have some zombies that are, you know, being cooks. You got some that are being waiters. You got some that are being cashiers at a store. They're just trying to live their daily lives, even though they're half dead, which I find quite interesting. Now, yes, there's a whole thing about the humans are afraid and the zombies don't want to mess with the humans because the humans are attacking them. But little by little, they seem to be kind of working together, which I really kind of like. This is just one of the many web comics that I have found on Webtoon. And I know this was kind of a brief explanation, but I don't want to give away too much on this. This is actually one of those comics I think is better if someone goes out and reads it instead of hearing all the details from someone like me. So have you ever heard of the website Webtoons? Do you actually go to it? Is there any comics on there that you think I should read that maybe you want me to talk about let me know in the comments below anyways folks thank you for joining me on this i hope this comic will be something that you like if not i try my best maybe next time anyways folks i'm the noob and i'll catch you later see ya